Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Uh, this is a relay. Uh, specifically, it is a 5 volt relay. Um, and I need to replace one of these. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, a relay is basically a switch. Uh, it's a device that's used to uh, connect a high power or control a high power circuit with a low power circuit. So let me put that into some kind of context. Let's say for example I wanted to power a smoke machine, which I do, uh, and I want to power it with a microcontroller, which I do. The microcontroller can put out 5 volts and 400 milliamps. However, the smoke machine that I want to use needs 5 volts and 4.5 amps which is more than 10 times what the microcontroller can put out so it won't it won't work it simply won't supply enough power however the battery that I'm using can supply that power so what I do in that case is I use a relay to control the power and more specifically a relay module which is this so this relay module uh, has connections going in and out and it allows you to control the relay using a microcontroller without having to manually wire up all the pins. So how does this work? Um, on this side we have three connections uh, VCC which is our live uh, ground obviously and then we have IN which is the uh, signal wire so what we do is we connect this to a 5 volt power supply which powers this board and then we have a signal wire going from here to our microcontroller. When we want to trigger the relay we send an instruction from the microcontroller to the in pin the, the, uh, and that will trigger the, the relay. Now what does that do? Well as I say we've got three outputs here. Um, now relays work in two positions normally, normally open and normally closed. So it's basically like, it is a switch, that's what it is. So if you imagine a light switch in your house, when you turn the light off, then it opens the switch and breaks the circuit and the light goes off. When you turn the switch on, it closes the circuit and the light comes on. This does the same thing. In fact, you could use this to power a light in your house if you wanted to using you know an Arduino or something. But how does it actually do it? Well basically as I said we have three connections here and let me get a suitable pointing device. There are three connections as I said. So the middle one is our common. So we take our power from our battery or from the mains or whatever and we put it into the middle socket. The socket on this side is normally closed. So that is our switch in the on position, if you like. Now that is the default state of the relay, is normally closed. So like now, where there's no power going to this, if I were to put a power supply to the, to the common, then the normally closed pole would be live, would light up. The connection on this side is normally open. So that is in the off position. Uh, if I trigger this relay, what will happen is the little switching mechanism inside will switch over from normally closed to normally open. So the power will go from here to here. So I connect this to the device I want to control, in my case a smoke machine, but it could be a light or anything else. When I trigger the relay, the power goes from here to here out to the device and it works. When I want to turn it off it goes click back the other way and goes back to here. So we could also say for an example you could connect this to an electromagnet on a fire door for example so you'd have it normally closed so the circuit is complete the magnet is energized it holds the fire door open. You could have on the other end of this input wire uh, a controller that is monitoring a fire alarm. When the fire alarm goes off, it sends a signal to the relay 
to switch over this will no longer be receiving power so the electromagnet will be demagnetized and the door will swing shut if you wanted to be really clever you could also have the normally open side connected to a fire alarm so that when the magnet depolarizes the fire alarm will then be activated you know there's all kinds of things you do with it uh, but basically I'm going to use this for a smoke machine now the problem I have with this particular bit of kit is it doesn't work <laughs> um, when it's in the normally closed position it's fine there's we got power going into the common the normally closed pole is lit up 5 volts fine no problem when I trigger the relay the voltage or the, the, the current disappears from this side but it does not come over here instead of getting 5 volts on this side I get 0 0.2 volts on this side which obviously isn't enough so I think and I'm no expert but I think there is something wrong with the relay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this relay with this relay now I could just throw this whole thing away and buy a new one uh, I've actually got more of these they're not particularly expensive but it seems an awful waste and seeing as I have a big bag of these relays I thought it would be quite fun to have a truck go at repairing it see if we can fix it now the problem that we have in this particular instance is that on the back side of these relays as you can see there there are five pins now these pins are used to power and control the relay um, like I said if I wanted to you could just solder the wires directly to the pins um, in this case obviously they're soldered to the board here they are so it's those five connections there so I need to desolder these joints to get the relay off of the board now here's the problem I heat up that one with my soldering iron the solder melts no problem I can't take the relay off because the other four pins are still soldered firmly in place so I move to the next one I desolder that that one is by then cooled down <laughs> and I end up just chasing my tail so I can't heat up all of them at once so what I need to do is try and get rid of the solder so I have a little gadget that I have just received through the post and it is this this <laughs> is a solder sucker I kid you not that is actually what it is called it's a solder sucker it's actually quite a common tool apparently um, I've never used one before so I thought if nothing else it'll be quite a laugh um, but basically it's a suction pump and how it works is like this you've got a plunger here and a button so you push the plunger down till it clicks when you push the button it releases the plunger which then creates a vacuum inside here and this end sucks so what you do is you push down you heat up the joint you hold this suitably you heat up the joint until the solder melts and then you go and it sucks the solder away in theory um, so I thought we'd give it a go uh, I've also got some uh, desoldering wick which is a, a second alternative um, this is basically uh, copper braid copper wire braided and the idea behind this is what you do is you put it on the joint you heat it up and the copper the copper the solder sorry uh, the solder will wick into the wick and then you can just take it away so we're going to try this first and if that doesn't work we'll give this a go so what could possibly go wrong <laughs> so I have now positioned the relay module in place um, I'm holding it with one of these if you don't have one of these little helping things then you should really get one they're fantastic they really are useful um, basically so I'm hoping this won't go twanging off but we'll, we'll give it a go and see what happens so I push the plunger down now I'm going to take the soldering iron I'm going to try and melt this solder there it goes now I'll put that there and ha! it worked brilliant Cool. 
I'm not sure how long this tip's going to last though. I don't know what sort of plastic it's made of, but I hope it's very heat resistant. Right, let's try another one. Alright, there it goes, and... <laughs> this is fantastic. This is way more fun than it should be. Oh, there's a big blob of solder fell out the end. Right, now this one. There we go. I'm sorry, this is just, this is fantastic. <laughs> I just want to desolder everything now. Right, come on, melt the solder. It's sometimes difficult to see if that's actually melted or not. Let's try it. Oh, it has. <laughs> And this is the last one. Okay. Oh, might have to do that one again. I'm not sure if it got it all out. I don't know if I'll better get the rest of it. Right, let's see if we can get that off of there now. It might have still left bits on there, it might not. See, what I might need to do is um, try and give it a little bit of gentle persuasion to come apart. go that's got it <laughs> success right so now if we take our new relay and pop that through the holes like that right let's move that out of the way for a second Now we get our soldering paste. And we put a little bit of this on each pin. And we get our solderer. And we solder each joint back together. Right, there we go. Good as new, he says confidently. So what I'm going to do is take this away now and um, try it and see if it works. Right, so um, that's got our relay fixed, which is handy. Saved me a job. Um, Yes, and the uh, the first test of our new solder sucker has, I think, has been a roaring success. Um, so, yeah, uh, nothing particularly special here, just a fairly basic repair job, but I thought you might be interested in it. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.